All right, Brian and David, let's take a look at how BYU got this 19-point win. We'll start in the first quarter. Christian Stewart, here's one of his great throws tonight. He avoided the rush so well and finds Colby Pearson, David. Yeah, he really was. He's very agile in the pocket tonight. I'd love to see him moving around and creating with his legs and, and finding wide open guys. Here is the 30-yard touchdown run by Jordan Leslie because it was a backwards pass, so Leslie will be credited with a rushing touchdown in his BYU career. Second quarter, Blake Decker, UNLV quarterback, sacked by Graham Rowley. David and Brian, why was BYU able to get to Blake Decker? Yeah, well, you know what? I, I, I think really it came down to just the pressure from the defensive line. Usually a lot of pressure came from the, from the, from the linebackers these last few weeks, but you saw guys like Bronson Confuci when his hand was on the ground and Graham Rowley really get some pressure on the quarterback this week. A defensive pressure created an interception for Kai Nakua, who leads the Cougars now with two interceptions on the season. And then this special teams gem by Michael Elisa catching the punt of Scott Arlano. Yeah, unbelievable. Once again in college, different than pros college you can, your whole body can cross the line the ball just can't cross the line in pros the opposite if your bike's cross the line then it's a touchback how about the hands of mitch matthews catches that ball behind the helmet of the defender setting up byu and paul lasique for That's one of his three man. touchdowns That's pass interference great catch on the pass defense occasion. That's pass interference mitch got away with run unlv would get right back in the game Thanks to a 68-yard touchdown run from Shaq Lawrence. And it's a ball game again. Then the pooch kick, some of this momentum comes back. Harvey Longy not able to field it. At this moment, you start to worry a little bit, David. Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, this is one of those miscues on special teams. And once again, special teams replace such an integral part of the game. And, and, and to turn the ball over at that point was a rough one. BYU would respond with the run game and Algie Brown. Boy, it's good to have him back, Brian. Oh, it definitely is. You know, it took a, a little bit for this BYU running game to take off in the second, in the first half, but the second half they came back and was able to, to pound the ground. Touchdown number two for Paul Lasique right there, and it's 21-13. Lasique not done. Look at the move by the rugby national champion to get outside BYU in the red zone once again. And then Christian Stewart to the big man, Devin, man, just dragging people. Dragging, dragging fools left and right. Got to go lower, man, if you're a DB. 28-13. Blake Decker on this throw Oof. would take a shot from and Logan he, and, Taele. And he'd been, he'd been holding his throwing shoulder in the previous series to this. And then once again, like you just said, Logan puts a hit right on that throwing shoulder and takes him out of the game. UNLV would kick a field goal to make it 28-16. BYU offense right back to work, up just 12 in the third quarter. Beautiful touch pass. Paul Lasique, three touchdowns what tonight. What an incredible night. Paul Lasique stepping in for Jamal. You know, who, we were wondering who's going to step up, and sure enough, ball filled in right in for that void. There's the third touchdown pass by Christian Stewart to Mitch Matthews. BYU wins 42-23. The Cougars put up almost 600 total yards, 592, 325 in the air, 267 on the ground. This is a UNLV defense that is giving up over 500 yards per game thus far. Yeah, it's, it's really what you expected for this BYU offense to do. I mean, you look at the, the previous weeks, they're able to move the ball, they're able to put points on the board, but when you look at defensively, I didn't really expect for this, this defense to give up 400 yards. When you look at just the playmaking ability on this, this UNLV uh, offense, I mean, they weren't really putting up a lot of yards, a lot of points in, in previous weeks, so to give up so many yards and, and these amount of points on a team that's less than mediocre really concerns me. 